Welcome to this brief overview of the major new features in Lumericals 2015B software release. The new features include an improved material model for graphene, a traveling wave laser model, design kit support, and additional options for complex structure import, including geometry and process data. The new graphene material model now uses a surface conductivity. Treating graphene as a 2D material leads to faster simulations than the previous volumetric approach. Two new components have been added into the graphical interfaces of FTTD and MODE. First, the surface conductivity material model and a new 2D surface object. Let's consider this electro-optic modulator as an example. We can see the graphene sheet is on the top surface of the waveguide, and we can see the resulting mode profile as calculated by mode solutions. Next, a new 1D traveling wave model in Interconnect incorporates the effects of external feedback and resonances from the rest of the circuit, allowing it to be used in the design of hybrid laser chips as well as integrated lasers driving photonic integrated circuits. Also in Interconnect, the new design kits are logical groupings of files related to a set of calibrated compact models or a compact model library. The design kit structure is self-contained to provide easy transfer between different users or computer platforms. All elements needed by Interconnect are stored within the compact model library. In this screenshot here, we see a number of elements included in the gzip PDK. These can be published into a single design kit and distributed to users in a convenient manner. Finally, importing complex structures. We can import from finite element data sources contained in files such as MATLAB, TechPlot, and now in the most recent release, HDF5 files. Once the raw data has been imported into the software, it is now possible using the dataset builder to extract geometry, process, or other data from that raw data source in an easy, convenient manner. This capability is available in FTTD mode and device. For example, let's consider importing process data into device. So in some cases, external tools can be used to simulate the fabrication of semiconductor components. This data can be read from these tools using common file formats such as MATLAB, TechPlot, and HDF5. And then the new dataset builder, in this case in device, will be used to import the corresponding geometry and doping profile from that finite element data source. We can see the raw data on a finite element mesh. This is the, the, the doping profile. And with the use of the data set builder, we can easily extract the corresponding geometry information out of that data set. Similarly, we can extract the doping profile, which then can be used in the device simulation. For more information on these features, see the associated new feature videos on our YouTube channel. You can also find more details and example files in Lumericals Knowledge Base. If you have any questions, please contact us at support or sales at lumerical.com. Thanks.